Hi everyone, Kelt here, bringing you some thoughts and also some concerns about the royal family. The concerns are the security around Prince William and his family. An old video taken allegedly in late 2021 of Prince William riding his bike with his family, who were interestingly not shown in the video, down a country lane just off the royal property in Norfolk. Why this video has recently surfaced, we can only guess. It's either the Sussexes trying to make Prince William look bad, like an angry future king, which, by the way, he doesn't because of the nature of how this happened, which I'll explain later, or it's being brought back into the public to point out the flaws in royal security. The media is drawing attention to the fact that Prince William lost his cool and it's more about him bursting into a fit of rage because his privacy was invaded according to them. But I see it as a completely different thing. Prince William and Catherine are well known for providing lots of opportunities for the press to take photos of the children and Catherine herself also takes lots of family photos which then they release to the public because they know the interest and unlike Harry and Meghan they don't hide their children. I thought that Prince William was quite restrained because this photographer had leapt out of the bushes and frightened Charlotte. He proceeded to video Prince William all the time they were talking seemed like a really nasty person and no respect at all for the future king. Some are saying that he was hired by Harry and Meghan to do this. I wouldn't be surprised. I see righteous anger in William's face, which is natural because he felt that his family were under threat. And I also see a bit of fear, probably for the same reason. What was racing through his mind at the time? Probably he was wondering if there were going to be more coming out of the bushes, if they were going to be surrounded, or probably the worst of his fears would be a crazy person who could take the whole family out. It would be unpleasant enough for someone to leap, to leap out of bushes and start filming you as a normal civilian. For it to happen to the future king and his family, it's really concerning. The video seems to be taken down from a lot of platforms now, but I will give you a brief rundown of approximately was, what was said. William said to the photographer, You came out here looking for us. The photographer denied it and then Catherine says, you drove past our house, I saw you. And then William says, how dare you behave like you've done with my children, how dare you? He said he was stalking around. You were looking for us and our children. I'm out for a quiet bike ride with my children on a Saturday and you won't even give me your name. You're outrageous, you're disgusting, you really are. How dare you behave like that? The video was posted to the YouTube account of Terry Harris, who is the Preston PR photographer based in Peterborough in the UK. William then says, thanks for ruining our day. And all this time he was trying to call his security. When he finally got through, he had to explain that he had an altercation with a photographer. Why did it take so long for him to get through? Maybe he was pressing the wrong phone number, but surely he should be able to reach somebody immediately. And why weren't the security there with them anyway? Harry and Meghan won't drive five minutes down the road without a massive security detail behind them. And yet Catherine and William are taking so many risks like this. Harry is always seen with the bodyguard cycling with him. We don't see this with the Cambridges. I've always been concerned about the fact that fans of the other pair were publicly encouraging possible enemies of the monarchy to be aware of the actual times and the days when the Cambridges travel in their car as a family to Norfolk. The Queen was also allegedly worried about them flying together in a helicopter. I can understand that, but why would they want to separate? Because surely if anything happened to them, they wouldn't want their children to be left without them, monarchy or no monarchy. And if it was the reverse with the children, if it happened to the children, then they really wouldn't want to go on without the children. So their love for their family and each other is greater than their fears for the future of the monarchy, and so it should be. There are many comments mostly supporting William and some which are actually siding with the photographer and saying that they don't want to be photographed in public, don't occupy public space. But this is different. The children are young and they deserve to be left alone at this time. I bet this photographer was one of the millions of people who mourned the death of Princess Diana. 
after she suffered relentless pursuit by photographers until she ended up in tears, and eventually, it seemed, it cost her life. Knowing this, and knowing that Prince William was fearful for his family and could well be triggered by this because of what happened to his mother and would have every right to be, unlike Prince Harry, who claims to be triggered by the flash of cameras and yet calls out photographers at any given opportunity. The photographer should have been polite and respectful and asked his permission to video him and his family. And do you know what? He might well have agreed if he hadn't already been stalking them, as Catherine pointed out. Instead, the photographer was arguing and arguing with Prince William and lying and continuing to film him. All the while, he was lying and invading his privacy while filming him on his bike so that he was disgusting. If somebody did that to me in a public place and continued to film me, I would want to knock the camera out of their hand. I feel that Prince William showed great restraint in that situation. I think he's a great father and would be a great future king if we still have a monarchy. William also says, you knew exactly what you were doing. I thought you guys had learnt by now. Exactly. Whatever happened to all the understanding and sympathy that the paparazzi showed William and Harry after the death of their mother. Apparently, Kensington Palace has responded to this and stated that it was a breach of the family's privacy. Well, this is good, isn't it? They've actually not spoken out to support the other pair in their clown show of trying to get the Pats to chase them. Says a lot, doesn't it? It seems as if William would have to pay the paparazzi to keep away, whereas Harry would have to pay them to take some interest. How ironic. There is actually a story back in 2021 where Catherine took Prince Louis out for a little bike ride. He was actually three at the time, and I think it was just after his third birthday. A Twitter user documented what happened to her when she randomly bumped into Catherine and Louis and she said that she almost collided with them accidentally. She talks about her day as as having started off quite negatively because she was stressed and sleep deprived and she went to a dance class in Hyde Park. Then she describes things as taking a turn and becoming way more exciting in her words. She says that as she was approaching the Queen's Gate entrance, she saw a young boy on a bike racing towards her on the sidewalk, while he was gleefully saying, I can't go slower, as his mum was chasing inches behind. She then describes that after she said hello to the little boy, she then realised that he and his mum had faces that she'd seen thousands of times, and then she noticed a breathless masked man in a suit running after the two. So she describes on Twitter how she had an almost literal run-in with Her Royal Highness and Prince Louis. At the time, she thought it was Prince George, but it was pointed out that it was Prince Louis because of the age. So, in situations like this, royals always seem to handle them well and they're approachable. Somebody else said that when Prince George was little, they bumped into him in the park and asked him his name, whereupon um, he gave them his security name, which was Archie, and we all know how that name was robbed from him. So I spent many hours in Hyde Park and particularly Kensington Gardens and it's so lovely. So many people from all walks of life and so many tourists all year round actually. It's a hive of activity and I would think that it would be slightly quieter early in the morning. It usually is but there there are things like exercising horses in Hyde Park but there would be no real privacy for the royals. This just shows that if you treat them with respect and treat them right they don't feel threatened And then you get your photo, so you get to speak to them, interact with them. But I still feel that it's a good thing that they are moving to Windsor as it will be so much more secure. If that photographer had asked Prince William if he could film him and his family, there's a good chance he might have said yes or might have at least let him take a few photos. William only told the man that he was disgusting, etc. after he had lied to him and argued with him. That family gives us so much in the way of beautiful photos and so much of their life. I have many photos saved on my computer of them at various events, their private time and their tours. The photographers, like the old guy named Arthur, who was a big favourite with the royals, showed respect. And through showing that respect, he had more opportunities with the royals. The big difference here is Prince William and his family are really being stalked and are in a distressing situation. Whereas Harry has to pay a photographer to pretend to hide in bushes so that they can appear to be stalked 
because no one really wants to stalk them. As I said, William would have to pay them to keep away, whereas Harry would have to pay them to take some interest. There has been some more talk around this video, with some are saying that it's a deep fake. If you don't know what a deep fake is, I'll put a link to a video about this in the description. I think it's very possible that it could be deep fake because one, the photographer didn't even get a glimpse of the children or Catherine. You th you'd think he would sort of swing his phone or his camera around and try and get a bit of them, but no. It's only become public now. Why wait all that time with a scoop like that, that he would have been proud to put his name to or his company would have done? Three, something about it that doesn't feel right. It looks like Prince William, yes, but something doesn't ring completely true about this. Let me have your thoughts and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Please subscribe. Ding my bell for more alerts for more videos. Like if you liked it and share. Bye.